And we're live. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you should I feel. you should see it in a second here. I, I thought it would be appropriate to just start on the technical difficulty screen. Oh, just... okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sadai, should I tell? Well, while you're loading up the game, should I tell the story of what has been going on in the background? <laughs> people should be very grateful that we even got to this point. Oh my god! Yeah, tell people what happened. <laughs> Okay, so um, last week, uh, what I wanted to happen, like my goal for this game, is that we would be able to switch out companion armors with some really bizarre bullshit. Um, and as we saw last week, the mod didn't work very well because like the armors would pop off for no reasons and like it, it was just a big old mess. Um, so there's actually two mods that do that. The one we use, which is bullshit and then another one that's like i well it's it's the more famous one of the two but um the problem with it is that it adds a whole bunch of like more vanilla s companion armors and it, like it's a more complete mod but for our purposes we didn't want it um so i was going to do that one instead of the shitty one well as it turns out when we pulled out the shitty mod uh it like completely wrecked the game <laughs> Uh, so when when you pull out the mod, it I th like how many were missing for you? The same ones that I listed, like all the companions yeah. minus like two or three were gone. It was incredibly weird. It was exactly there were just certain people that weren't affected, just like you mentioned. And I'm like, I don't know why, but uh, I liked I liked your theory that everyone just got so sick of being oversexualized by Versace <laughs> Hawk, they just walked out. Like, they really did. They staged the strike, basically. Yeah, at, at least for me, Fenris, Aveline, Anders, and Meryl. I think that was all. I think I'm missing one, actually. Uh, I don't know who. Oh, th at least those four were just gone. So um, I tried to fix it through, like, more natural ways, and I couldn't figure out how. So the best... So what I had to do was... Um, which, for other reasons, I had to make Jordan do this on his own. Uh, I had to use console commands to bring them back, and that's the only way I could... <laughs> I can make it work. <laughs> <laughs> that is really... It's crazy what you have to do. Now, I, I think I'm loading in the correct one, right? Uh, you should be. It should be just, oh, shit, whatever you oh, gave me. The oh, shit, shit. <laughs> yeah. So if you, if you uh, go into the uh, companion uh, loading screen, Fenris and Meryl should be human bodies. Nope, they're not. Did I load they... the wrong one? Well, okay, so they're... They're, put them in your party, they're probably wearing the companion armor. So when you pop that out, they should now be able to wear human armor, I guess is what it should be. That is there. So their armor is what makes them human. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Let's. I don't know why just moving the camera became a huge challenge for me. <laughs> It's like my mo okay? my motor. No, I'll tell you exactly what it is. And I already, you know, this already is that I started playing Skyrim again. And so then uh, you become Skyrim. It's one of those weird control. things where like controllers don't have that. And I guess it's just because of the standard weapon, uh, weapon, the standard button placement. Uh huh. But when it's mouse and keyboard and you switch to a different control scheme, I don't care how long I've been using mouse and keyboard. It always freaks me out for a little bit. <laughs> Like a controller, it doesn't, because, I don't know, I guess controller schemes are all pretty much the same if you're playing a shooter or what have you, but... Um, so, people are saying Aveline... Well, first, let's let's figure out this Meryl. When you pull it off, does she have a... Uh, no. Oh, does she... Oh, well, hold she... on, the, the bodice of whatever... Do one of, the, like, the exhilarant whatever it is, because I know those work. Some of the uh, the pink ones are male only. I don't remember which ones. You might also load her the wrong one, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like I loaded the wrong one, but I downloaded exactly what you... Did I send you the wrong one? That's that's the... I don't think so. Okay, what should the timestamp be for this one? Cause this... It doesn't edit the timestamp, or at least it shouldn't. Right, so in that case, you used uh, 118, right? The oh shit shit? Yes. That's the one that I loaded. If you saved over it, then that should be correct. I should have. All right, game. <laughs> So on your end, if I equip Meryl with an exhilarant, whatchamacallit, it will work? Yeah, it should, yeah. Um, any other ones that I could test? Uh, just like, uh, uh, take off what Hawk's wearing and put it on her. Uh, Dream of Antiva, okay. Yeah. No. She disappears. Okay, so when I go into uh, what I sent you, the oh shit shit dot DAS should be around at least uh, 
you know, uh, 440. Damn, the back tattoo is crazy. Um, uh, 440, okay, yeah. Yeah, today uh, at 440. So if it's not that, then you have the wrong thing. I guess I do, but I don't fully under... And what I did. All right. Well, I did something. So let's go back to a technical difficulty screen and let me. Uh, <laughs> we were doing so good. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna put the one, even though it's not Cal. I need to make one for Skyrim that says Jordan was playing Skyrim instead of testing this earlier. So, uh, I'll figure it out. Oh no, never mind. I know what I did. Oh, okay. Yay! Not my fault. <laughs> no, no, it was definitely my fault. Oh, God. Uh, and some people were asking, why is Aveline in a prologue armor? Because we had to recruit Aveline instead of have her normally through console commands or whatever. Um, it kind of reset everybody. So I think you are going to have to redo all of their campaign endpoints and whatnot. Oh, OK. Well, yeah, that should, that should be, did, does it reset our personality, whatever our relationship with them was? You know, it might have. I don't actually know. Oh, boy. Man, I can imagine if you're just like a just a uh, normal person going through this. That's gotta suck. Yeah. On, on, on the bright side, a lot of what was broken can be fixed with console commands, so like, it's not the end of the world, it's just annoying. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Now it's doing this again where it won't let it go to full screen for God knows what reason. Oh, well, I don't know. We can uh, just look at your desktop. You have such a clean desktop compared to me. <laughs> my God. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm draconian oh, about my desktop. God. I fear that one day I'll just lose, I'll just lose it, you know? God, on my, on my, my work computer, I've just completely given up all hope and the icons have started to overlap on one another because it filled up the desktop all the way. It, yeah, my work computer is definitely a lot less um, clean and I used to be one of those like zero inbox people. Mm. Uh, with my email and then that just there's just a certain point where you just I don't know you have to give up on that <laughs> I don't know how people <laughs> how people manage that uh, okay here we go the oh shit shit 440 timestamp <clears throat> uh, yep <clears throat> okay this sh this should work now all right let's... now things should be better be no more oops with this um, hopefully or I did something very wrong. You know, I could be either. Well, Meryl and... Um, that's that's all right. That's normal. That's all right. Yeah, that's what I yeah. figured. Okay. Because yeah, they're they're wearing elf armor, uh, so that doesn't work for their body type. Hey, so there we go. Cool. Here we go. Body is correct. Um, Meryl's head is still blue. That was intentional, right? <laughs> yep, that's, that's still it. <laughs> All right. Oh, why? Uh, Stenris slash Fenris has Geralt armor on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it uh, turns out, uh, I, I God, it's a very long and complicated and boring story. But essentially, I didn't know how to make Fenris human. And the best way I could do it is that he's Carver now. <laughs> Interesting. So this is Carver, Fen Carver. Uh, don't worry about it. It's going to act just like Fenris. But he it's looks just... like Geralt of Rivia. I mean, well, if you remember from the start of the game, he had, uh, Carver had Geralt's armor. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, you know, so. Okay, uh, what do I equip Meryl with? Is there anything I feel like? Um, There's the bodice of whatever the fuck is what I gave her, but I don't know. I, th I thought there was something where it was, like, bugged for you for some reason, but oh. it works on mine, so I don't remember. I mean, let's see if we can get it to work, and then it's... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Bodice of Desire, and then it's, like, Hand of Desperation. It's <laughs> whatever. Hand of Desperation? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it is, but there, there's a... I wish that's there, what it there's was. There's a whole thing. Okay, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Yeah. They got these crazy-ass boots that I, I want to show off, because they just look horrific. Um, what... Wait, are these... Oh, Lord. Oh, come on. Those are not practical. Hey, you know, whatever. Uh, by the way, uh, because of this new mod, uh, don't put helmets on, because helmets are now always on, no matter what you do. Surprise! Oh. <laughs> so. How interesting. Yeah, uh, I don't really like that, but that's the mods. Um, I wonder what we'll do with, uh... With Fenris. Um... Nope, can't wear that. There's a couple things I thought I tried to give him at least. Two, the, there's two pink ones that he should be able to wear. 
Uh, there's the one for the, for Anders, which is like Healer of Kirkwall, and then I think the other one is one that I wanted to give him if it's if I did it right. Uh, what are the gloves? Oh, never mind. Healer gloves, They're, obviously. Yeah. They, yeah. And healer boots. There we go. Uh, now he's got to get a staff for Anders. Well, you still got to check out the helmets. Always on maybe an improvement. Well, that's fair. I will say that all the downloadable helmets we have are really lame. It's not like any fun ones. So I don't recommend. <laughs> I forgot Anders was Freddie Mercury now. <laughs> a little bit. Needs a mustache, though. Uh, I'm going to give Anders Andraste staff because that just seems appropriately <laughs> contradictory. All right. Uh, I don't know what we're going to put on Fenris for armor, though. I don't know if any of these really fit. And what I mean by they don't fit, they don't. none of them work. Mm, that sucks. Does the Wistful Soul not work, or is that something else? Uh, no, this works. He's just, he's just he's shirtless, but I mean, I guess. Well, you know, it's just... <laughs> Um, but with his hands and legs, his hands and feet are gone. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you gotta add all the hands and feet. Hey, stuff. there we go. That, and that's what makes now it he sense. has just a top part of an armor. Good lord, who is, who is doing this shit? <laughs> who is doing this? And how many candles did they light when Tumblr shut down porn? Because I just feel like like that's the only type of porn that would have satisfied whoever made these. They can't just go to Pornhub and just watch the normal, you know, lurid stuff that the rest of us do. They've got to get that extra special stuff that's only on Tumblr. Are you like, it's like kink shaming anyone that doesn't go to Pornhub. Have you seen that one meme where the guy goes, don't kink shame, and then he goes, kink shaming is my kink? <laughs> I have hilarious. not. No. Um, oh. Yeah, you know, here. What's wrong with just good old fashioned porn? You know, how can we can't just watch? Because Jordan, and I say this half joke, half seriously, porn on Pornhub is made for the male gaze. Us oh, women need a little true. bit something else, true. Jordan. It's probably true. Yeah, like. Don't you know? Yeah, just like elves that have tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we're pretty oh, good God. to go equipment wise, though. Yeah, yeah, I think I think we're, I think we're great. So yeah, uh, 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 at least Act One. I think we got to do uh, equal opportunity uh, sexual, overly sexual uh, armors. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, I think that's where we're at. Um, I do have to re-level them up though. Yeah, you do. All right. I'm gonna quick save. Also, I am just gonna keep hitting Tab every single time I want to exit things. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, Lord. Okay. Uh, what were we doing with Anders? Anders is, of course, going to be our healer. Probably the... Oh, the... Uh, I think the... Uh, uh, what's it called? How much they like you got reset, too. So that, that'd be fun! <laughs> we weren't, like, super far, so it's not the end of the world, but uh, that does suck. Uh, for Fenris... I don't know. Your basic two-handedness. Yeah, he does it two-handed. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, hold on. What is, what is... I don't know. Uh, <laughs> some, fitting, I mean, sometimes there's like double entendres. Sometimes there's just straight up single entendres. I think that might have just been a zero entendre. I don't even know. <laughs> I, when I was in college, I was really bad at like not being subtle and like just saying the most obvious thing that I earned the nickname. Wha bam. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually a good that's actually pretty funny yeah that that, that was there for a while <laughs> what well, bam okay so that's there you go <laughs> we want to do so how was your week jordan uh yeah you know it wasn't bad it was busy enough but otherwise it went by quick it's just uh it's another weekend here is it well you're in texas so it's probably uh warm to <laughs> warm this entire year but it's uh finally a decent weekend up where i am and it's been nice to have the windows open watch all the loud children run by having my dog bark at them nonstop. it's been great 
so. Excellent. Yeah, the weather here, um, you know, turned fairly quickly, but it's it's nice right now. Mm. Uh, what are we doing? What did I say with Meryl? Right, kind of a controller. So let's do the petrify. <clears throat> uh, horror. <clears throat> death siphon yeah we'll do definitely walking bomb <laughs> everyone's me <making laughs> so uh my last dragon age stream i was trying to do some uh console commands and i completely forgot that you had to add run script to the front of it mm. so i was trying for it my, it might have been something like upwards of 10 minutes of me embarrassing lately not looking at the chat of people like run script <laughs> fucking, I was fucking using the chat now. Thanks, guys. Love you too. I was um, <clears throat> I was doing the thing earlier when I was trying to execute all these console commands. Like the first couple of tries, I was putting ZZ before. Ah. I don't know why I was doing that, but that's what I was I, doing. I gave you the exact. <laughs> thing no, I know, and, and what I did was I read it and just didn't really read it. I was like, yeah, yeah, I know what the <laughs> run script command is. <laughs> ZZ right. run script. It's like no, not exactly. Um. All right, so everybody, everybody's costumed up. I mean, this seems like it's working here. Yeah, I think things are actually decent for once. <laughs> All right, so so what are we doing? We're jumping into Act One. How should uh, we? Yeah, what are, what are some quests we have to do? Uh, we already got Fainreal. Um, what what else is there to do? Um, we could help Aveline. Um, we could uh, find the will. Find Grandfather Amel's will. Yeah, let's uh, let's take Bethany out into the well because someone said that she uh, she got thin and she didn't. She just her armor changed to the vanilla armor, <laughs> so ah. she's she's so chubby. Uh, let's see here. Let's um, who should we give a break? I don't want to take out all mages, so I guess let's give Meryl a break. Take out Bethany, Fenris, and Anne. <clears throat> Now we can't give Bethany any other armor because otherwise she's gonna like, it's like <laughs> sink back into herself. <laughs> but uh, which, yeah, if you want to see what anyone else looks like chubby, just give them Bethany's armor and they should turn out squishy. If <laughs> if we if we want to give give Versace Hawk a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so she's got to stay in the basic armor. You're saying Bethany. Yeah, Bethany has to stay in the basic armor. Everyone else can change whatever. Okay, but... all right. Uh, Dark Town, and then it's in the cellar. So let's head over there. Let's go. You probably uh, teleport to Anders Clinic, and that's right outside of the uh, the thing. The chat room. How was your week? How was uh, how's the chat doing? Well, 30 seconds later, I'm sure, I'm sure they're fine. Is there anywhere more oh, God. <clears throat> oh, this, I, I, feel like I'm, I feel like so calm and relaxed right now. Just very zen. Like, I could take a nap right now. I don't know about you. Yeah, I kind of have the same thing. But I think for you, it's probably because you're, you're done with the nightmare of, <laughs> of getting this <laughs> thing to work. Now you just got to watch replay. Yeah, that was my morning. When did I send you that email? Like, what time was it? Because I, like, woke up at 8, and then that was just my morning. About two, <laughs> about two hours before I woke up, Katie. <laughs> well, I, don't know when that, I don't know when that was. <laughs> um, yeah, and no, I think also, uh, you know, yoga. Yoga helps me relax, and um, generally, if I have time for that, it's going to be on a Saturday, so. I did yoga in college. I just, I don't know. I haven't really gotten back into it. Uh, I should do that. I don't really like exercise otherwise. That's like one of the more bearable forms of exercise. So good for you too, you know? Yeah, keeps you limber. That sounded weird, but I meant like... Well, limber. yeah, it, it's in my case, it scathes off the horrible plague of inflexibility that I suffer from. Like, I am just <laughs> one of the least flexible humans you've ever met. I feel like that's a dude thing. I haven't met a lot of flexible dudes, but a lot of, a lot of 
met a lot of flexible women. I don't know. And like when yeah. you go to yoga, at least for me, when I ever went to yoga class, it was like predominantly women. Which, I mean, I don't know, maybe there's like a stigma against men in yoga. Uh, probably not. I mean, I probably don't think that there's a stigma amongst the women, right? Like, the women don't care that you're there doing yoga, but oh, yeah. it's more like amongst other men. And also, like, as dudes, you know, it bothers us when we suck at things that, like, really badly. <laughs> I mean, it bothers anyone when they suck at something, but there's that odd, like, male thing of, like, I'm gonna yoga the fuck out of this, and that's not really how you do yoga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be the best at yoga. <laughs> Where yeah, and, and that's not how that's gonna work. It's gonna be some 90 year old lady who's way better at it than you because that's just how it is. Yeah. My mother in law, she like wakes up, I swear to God, at like four o'clock in the morning every day to go to her like little gym and yoga class. And like she's been doing this for ages and she is so tiny but so strong. <laughs> it's like, oh man, you're so, you're so much more fit than I am. I'm like. <laughs> I'm younger than your son. I don't know how to take it. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, I mean, I think it's like a necessity thing. You get, yeah. you start to realize that it, uh, aging is starting to come up on you, and uh, what else can you do? God damn, Fenris is like, he's got mad vertical. Oh, yeah, look at that. Uh... Oh my god, the fucking glowy. <laughs> the glowy. <laughs> damn, okay. Fenris is kind of beast mode right now. Fucking ass. <laughs> Get out of here. I didn't know the here. glow would stay there. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, this is so nice. <laughs> My god, him, 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 like, with this human body type, and, like, because the shoulders are much more, like, thick because of the weird armor we have in, he does look like a glowing hulk. <laughs> oh my god. Pretty nuts, man. He's just, he's just fucking... The armor is just so ridiculous. He's nothing but nipples and shoulder pads. Like, this is fucking <laughs> ridiculous. Who on earth thought that this was a good idea? I... I don't know, man. I mean, again, I should preface. As far as the stream is concerned, it's a fucking great idea. But <laughs> beyond that, I... Uh... Yeah, okay, here's a question. We've seen, like, you know, we're about, uh, I don't know, a third of the way through this, a little bit less than. We've done uh, DAI already. People made these mods with the intent to put them in their games. For the most part. There are some wild ones, like the Iron, Iron Bull Butterfly. That one was made in Jet, so I think there are a couple of those. But, like, some of these, not. And they just don't fit, and I just don't know how to do it. Like, wh who'd, who, who thought that'd be a good idea? Just very strange. I mean, I've already given my uh, my diagnosis on it. People who really like Tumblr porn, like that's who. <laughs> God, it's gonna be wild when we get to the Dragon Age Origin ones, because like Dragon Age Origin modding was fairly easy. That like, there's just so much strange stuff. <laughs> I'm so excited for that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they had an actual toolkit, right? I mean, that's the main thing. Which is actually kind of hard to get it now. Because um, the previous way to uh, get it was on the Bio Show BioWare social network forums, which is gone. So now you have to go to sketchy websites to act, download a mirror of it. And then on top of that, um, you have to... Uh, like, they, there's... To work the tool set, you had to own a copy of Dragon Age Origins, and the way they checked that doesn't work very well. So it's actually really hard to get the full copy of the tool set. Even if you own the game, that's really the... unfortunate. So, so EA mm -hmm. slash Bioware does not house this properly <laughs> anywhere anymore. I have never been able to. Well, not anymore. Since they took the Bioware social networks, I have not been able to find it. I've only ever found on the DA toolset wiki a mirror of it. You can download a Dragon Age Keep, can't you? I maybe they did that. There was a there was a point in time when I was looking for the tool set where it wasn't. But let me look up the DA key real quick and see if they have it. I don't want to condemn them if that's not the case. Oh God. Let's see here. 
Yeah, that just seems like a really weird EA thing. Um, they just seem to be against tool sets and really against modding, which, um, again, to bring up Skyrim, every time I, I reload a new set of mods and, and do another like alternate start on Skyrim, I'm just really blown away how much it can become a different game each time. Like, genuinely mm. feel remarkably different. And you sit there and go, like, I'm never going to stop playing this because it's just, like, this infinite thing. And I don't know, maybe from a business standpoint, that's almost too successful, you know? Now, real, real quick, it is on, if you go to Dragon Age Keep and Downloads, they do have the tool set now. So, hey, good on you. Okay, good. <laughs> that would have saved good. me a lot of time. I <laughs> Yeah, I was trying good. to put the tool set like uh, before, like right after the social network shut down because I was like, oh, shit, I need to get that. And I yeah. I didn't know. Well, there you go. I lied. You can also get the Dragon Age Origins character creator if you're curious. For free, I guess. This is it. <laughs> Grandfather's will. Mother needs to see this as soon as possible. We'll take it to her right now. So I'm just saying. So as much as it's getting nice outside and we turned off the heater, we're now at that weird part of like, all right, it's too cool to <laughs> turn on the air conditioning, but it's too warm inside to like <laughs> to live. But we don't want to open up the windows because we're talking loudly. Uh, yeah. Maybe just. No, here it's hot enough. Yeah, I mean we're we're getting into mid to high eighties on some days. We found the will. He forgave you, Mother. Grandfather left you everything. Galen's so sleazy. Yeah, I was really? right about to say that. Like, he's such a piece of shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I will also say that I, I, I use a, uh, maybe a darker skin hawked, and for some reason he just comes off as way less sleazy in the, like, the random face that I get for Galen than like, this Galen that looks like all he, <laughs> he would take money from anything. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I guess that's good character design. They made him look as sleazy as he is. Yeah, really. But apparently not in all of them. Home, mother. I don't know. A real home. They forgave me. Mother forgave me. But Gamlin, how could you? You're the one who ran away, Leandra. What happened to love is so much more important than money. It is. You didn't even <clears throat> come home for the funeral. The twins were a week old. We all have our birds. <laughs> Gamlin is now Versace servant. No, that's still, uh, How that's still Zona. To wait? <laughs> That'd be hilarious if somebody made a mod to make it Gamlin. That might actually be a thing, because I know there's some, like, we can turn the dog into, like, a lot of crazy stuff. You spend the rest of your life paying my mother back for what she My favorite stole. was Corypheus. That might be a thing to do. <laughs> I don't expect that, Gamlin. It's enough to know mother and father didn't die angry. I'll petition the Viscount for rights to reclaim the estate. Make a willing. You'll have your house back within weeks. You don't have Did he just Man, say Andraste's ass? <laughs> Probably. That, that's a, that's a thing Varric says literally all the time. Like, this is a common that saying that they does he Does he does? Man, I guess I just never noticed it. Andraste's ass. I've heard, what, isn't they, don't they also say tits of Andraste? Who else says that? Andraste's tits. Andraste's yeah, tits, thing. yeah, something like that. Uh, that's another Varric thing. Varric really likes to say Andraste insert body part here. Uh, it's such a it's such a weird profanity. It's for someone to just be like Moses' nutsack of like is that really <laughs> <laughs> Is that really like what that's weird. Uh, but... Jesus is perfect nipples, what's going on? <laughs> uh... No one says that. Yeah, that's uh, that is a little bit weird. Or maybe it's a language thing. Are there other languages that uh, <laughs> that do something like I that? I mean, people got to weigh in. I don't know. I don't know. All right, what should we do next? Um, what do we have to do? Well, maybe we could do some companion quests. I don't know if we want to uh, see what Aveline's up to. Yeah, that might be it. <clears throat> But people are really loving Moses' nutsack, apparently. <laughs> there you go. Oh no. Um assassin okay, so what specialization? This is a this is the thing now. Duelist or specialization? 
Oh, for us. I mean, Duelist is boring, so Assassin seems more up our thing, right? That, or not? That, no, you're right. You're 100%. That. They, all, they do also say Maker's Balls. That's another thing. Maker's Balls. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> Maker's Balls, which sounds like it's probably like a shitty like cocktail that somebody made. Out of like Maker's Mark or something? Yeah, I don't know why I thought of that. I'm thinking like Maker's Mark and then they have one of those like um, really clear uh, ice balls. You know what I mean? Oh, you, that you like, put in alcohol sometimes. Maker's Mark in like Fireball? That'd be so terrible. That'd be fucking awful. <laughs> I didn't say it was good. <laughs> well, no, I'm just thinking of other stuff it could be, but that'd be awful. But yeah, somebody could make that. Um, all right, I'm, I'm picking some specialization stuff. Uh, Versace. I know, there's, I know there's people that's made Dragon Age themed cocktails and stuff like that. I'm sure some of them are good. Well, probably. I, I also like, I don't drink very much at all. So like, I don't, I don't know anything about cocktails, so I read it and go, oh, okay. Uh, this, <laughs> it, it's like reading something in another language. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the flavors would be. It just doesn't make sense to me. It's like I've read them sometimes. And I'm like, oh, that's weird, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so. Damn, people really like this. Um, <laughs> deity plus bar, religious figure plus body part. Somebody said Andraste's 12 inch strap on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. All right, let's uh, let's help out, Adeline. My grandma, when referring to something of small amount, like I got almost nothing from this, says chicken tits, almost nothing in Russian. Oh, that's interesting. Save me a mess of trouble. Is this the guard outfit now? What the hell is this? Oh no, I didn't know we go to everybody. <laughs> this is the best. Oh, uh, there they are. Wow. Oh, wow! I didn't know everyone would change. I just thought so it would be Amelie. Oh, it had been no. clear for weeks. It didn't get unusual. And the only, only, a, the only reason Aveline's not wear, wearing it is because they had to re recruit re her. Right, did. yeah. This is, in, this is ridiculous. Just a bunch of dudes out there trying to get arrested on purpose. <laughs> Everyone in the guard looks at the blooming rose part. How is it not somebody who just looks at nothing but Tumblr porn? Like, how is this not exactly that? I yeah, the the faux Oriental bullshit tattoos, the weird chainmail fantasy bikini. What to do is like to get put in handcuffs. No, no. To be fair. At the, at the time this was kind of made, Tumblr was well, kind of new, and what was really popular, kind of least in kind of like you. the but peak and maybe going down a bit, was DeviantArt. So I think this I is DeviantArt porn. These men. <clears throat> yeah, like you might be right. Yeah, about that. Like family. Brennan so. Sardonic, a good man. DeviantArt kind of just Sardonic. went in the pooper, didn't it? You know, like I, I know it's still a and thing, but I just you don't hear much about it anymore. Let's go make sure his quiet. Yeah, well, artists now don't use DeviantArt. They use what's the other one? Um. Uh, make. I'm just said Maker Smart. Uh, God, I know what you're talking about. It's the one where people always go and look back at like Bioware artists, concept art from stuff. <sighs> yeah, Art Station. Art Station. Yeah, Art Station. Art Station. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's that. Well, I, uh, at least what I heard about um, Deviant Art, why people were leaving, is that they update updated their terms of service to like have a clause that could be interpreted in a way that they now own anything you post. And a lot of people were like, woo, all right, bye. And so like so many people left. I don't think it ever really came back except for uh, amateur artists. The thing, right? Like people have to understand like those terms of service really. Mm hmm. So that, that, that was the last major thing I ever heard about DeviantArt. And I know it's still around. I know it's still a thing, but I think it definitely suffered because of that. That's my backseat uh, deviant art history. You're welcome. Hey. Hold on, let me.
<clears throat> DeviantArt has a lot of weird kinks. Well, yeah. Well, D it's like it was like Tumblr. Like before Tumblr came out, everyone was on. Um, like I, I used to have a DeviantArt account, and that was my my thing. And like I, so I, I feel like I'm kind of in the know of DeviantArt circa 2006 to 2010 because that was when I was on it. Um, then yeah, that change in the clause was probably like I don't know mid mid 2010. That's whenever you switched over to Tumblr, something like that. Um, but yeah, I, I think the rise of Tumblr really was because DeviantArt had that clause and like, well, what else do we post images on? Tumblr's a thing, so I don't went there. But, uh, yeah, did DeviantArt had a lot, like, it had, like, the ability to have, like, clubs and guilds and that sort of thing, so it really just banded the strange people together. <laughs> so. I tease, but I'm, I'm, I'm real in favor of, uh, weird shit on the internet. I don't make my just on that principle. That reminds me, oh, sorry, that, a comment. That reminds me, where have the furries migrated now that tumblers have been shut down? Here's the thing that I'm ashamed to know. Furries didn't congregate on Tumblr. They congregate on Fur Affinity. <laughs> so on, they're doing fine. <laughs> Probably. On, on I think that's nice, Nolan. Fur Affinity? Fur Affinity. Um, so I, I, I should I know this because when I was friends with people on DeviantArt, there was one girl who again, was underage, so that was questionable, who uh, did made a fair amount of money off of doing uh, furry porn on Fur Affinity. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's kind of like... Whoa. a the way she's underage and she's doing this shit? Yeah, she was she was about 16, 17 when I knew her doing this. Oh, that's crazy. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I was 16 and 17 at the time, too. So it was like, oh, okay, fine, I'm an adult, who cares? But uh, <laughs> nowadays, it's like, whoa, that's weird. But now she got that hardcore porn for money and she made a decent amount off of it. But, um, yeah, so... It's, it was it, from from what I heard about it, it was kind of like deviant art, but that's where the furries go. And like, there was a lot of porn, but it wasn't just the porn. So, <laughs> Katie's in the know on the furry community. Look, I learned a lot from that girl who would just draw a lot of furry porn and tell us what she had to draw. <laughs> it was ooh, that was an event. <laughs> Dang, Katie has a shifty pass. Yeah, Jordan Jordan got into fights in school and I had weird shit on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> that was my shifty pass. Oh, God. I actually befriended some Sonic fetish artists when I was 13 and didn't realize that's what they were. I thought that feet and fat characters were the only things they could draw. <laughs> <laughs> that's, so, that's so pure. <laughs> oh, good lord. I'm, look, I'm so glad we all found each other. Like, there's just a <laughs> tremendous community in place here. <laughs> um, also, we ran into Sister Patrice all the way. Should we just talk to her? Oh, yeah, just talk to Sister Patrice. Here, miss. This bitch. Word is oh, does she look normal? Well. Because if so, then I'm very disappointed. Well. I need someone native to the dark places beneath Lotus. Oh, she does look normal. If okay, I'm disappointed. Much, if someone yes, wants to make... Uh, Anything. I am, I am. You're such a terrible Let's character. I hate her. So. Into this alley. I mean, not I a terrible know. character. I mean, I, I yeah. hate her. I hate her. The character is, you know, it's actually pretty interesting. Poorly. Yeah, that 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 I will I will say. Uh, I, I I I she is a complete bitch, but I think she's she's fine as a character. No, Patrice mod disappointing. I thought I had so one. I guess it either got deleted finish. somehow or because I I reworked a bunch of mods in the background too that we weren't using or got deleted or weren't working for whatever reason. Right. There's no um, slutty Chantry sister mod, I'm shocked. Oh, there really isn't, actually. Uh, all, all of the slutty mods either went to the, um, like, your party or apparently the, uh, the guards. But <laughs> 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 Patrice needs a bullseye tattooed on her forehead. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, or her chest, because she does get stabbed there, depending on the choices, so... Well, thank you for your timely intervention. I am out of my element. If you guys want to make lucky, anything, we dead. can make this happen. I, I just come here to get the type of person I need. Don't know how to mod. Someone <clears throat> bloody skill, but also integrity. Perhaps the kind who might leap to someone's defense. I have a charge who needs passage from the city. 
If you are willing and capable, meet me at my safe house nearby. I was about to say, like, what were we talking about before, but it was furries, so never mind. I'm done with that cute little furry, so I don't want to go back to that. You are in no town, after all. Uh, Varnell. Oh, God. Not so Did helpless, you notice that on Meryl's armor, she has come. very pronounced nipples? This matter only grows more urgent with time. Um, wait, what? On Meryl's armor, she has very pronounced nipples. <laughs> Oh, you're not kidding. Wow, I, di I did not notice that. There's not a lot of contour in like the, the color of it. It's just like a black black, so it's kind of hard, hard to notice any of the um, details. But if you angle it, you're right. There's a little, there's, there's just a little, you could just hang your keys on it when you get home from work. You know what I mean? Just walking in. Put your hat, maybe like a coat or something, you know? We must be getting Light jacket. It's practical. She just does that for everyone else's benefit. Yeah, it, it also doubles as armor because there's, like, it's so pokey if she just runs into people. She's dead. Sure. Yeah, that's all the rage in uh, 749 Dragon or whatever it is. <laughs> that is not even close to the year. <laughs> Wait, what's the year again? Uh, it's well, it's it's it, we're in the 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 Dragon Age. This is the Ninth Age. The exact year is probably like thirty two or something like that. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so you're about two hundred years off, but that's okay. Yeah, all right. Well, <laughs> you were, you know. <laughs> Katie, why are you mentioning the weirdest stuff? Have you not listened to anything I said on this stream at all? This is your first time here. <laughs> uh, it's it's the middle it's the middle of our weekend basically. We play Dragon Age. We don't ever plan what we're gonna talk about. We really don't. <laughs> and so it's just both of us going like, don't let there be dead air. Don't let there be dead air. <laughs> don't get true. And just we're... like whatever comes into your head, just word vomit. <laughs> it's just like we said. Oh, fuck, I don't. Oh, I got into a lot of fights. Oh, I don't know if I should be talking about this. I don't care. Just keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I didn't get into a lot of fights, I'm just <laughs> lying right now. That's so weird. It's just like, oh, let's just keep saying stuff. I mean, I, I was on <laughs> No, I went to the moon. No, I didn't know. <laughs> I took a few down, but there were too many at once. The captain it's just, it's just a weird thing, live streaming. Like, I used to watch it, and I go, I could never do that. I remember when you first brought it up, I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't think that's really for me. And I don't know. I oddly enjoy it now, but it's also because, like, every time I watch someone else's live stream, I'm like, oh, they're like a live streamer. <laughs> they're, they're really, like, um, you know, orderly about how they do it. It's very interesting. Mm-hmm. As compared to us, that just bullshitting for two hours. Well, I like it's, it's. I mean, I think the ones where we where we both stream it is super fun. Like your solo live streams are, are pretty. They're pretty not standard because you guys get into some crazy stuff as well. But well, yeah, exposing this kind um, of corruption could make the gods look. Yeah, I just, it's, it's a particular then skill set that I don't know I'm necessarily good at better. just when I'm doing it solo. This but when there's somebody the there to the Viking, talk with, it's, this I don't know. It's fun. Mm -hmm. the likes it's like a weird so radio much. show in a way Let's that the podcasts aren't. Which is really unique to me because the podcasts have a totally different feel to them. Well, I feel it's because we, we 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 set out having a topic to discuss, and so we're sitting there and like, okay, we we are now being recorded, and this will be edited, and we will talk smartly about these things that we <laughs> yeah. like. Uh, yeah. Versus just sitting here going like, ah, we're just gonna talk some shit for two hours. <laughs> sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Uh, all right, so we helped homeboy. Uh, now, what do we do? We're going to Jevin, right? Uh, Jevin? Yeah, confront Captain Jevin at the barracks. Oh, we have to finish it. Uh, well, I would say go to go to Patrice, because we're, like, right here. Oh, yeah, well, no, that's true. People were always asking, or uh, were also asking about why isn't Donic in stripper armor. So stripper armor, I think, is actually a mistake uh, for it being all the female guards. Because it, what, what, what I... What I downloaded it for was to just change Aveline. I didn't know it changed all of the the female guard armor. So the one you're about to walk into isn't the one you want. So I, know, I know. I was about to say, like, what am I going into? 
this is the, okay. So whenever you're like, you walk around a place and like, there's those things, those group of people that surprise you. If you get rid of all of them, you'll get to go to a special area where you defeat like the boss. Oh yeah. That. Here we go. Those little Whatever. assholes who are. Yeah. So don't fucking worry about that. We don't need it. Okay. So, uh, yeah, the, the male armor didn't get edited, so it's not like anything. <clears throat> Now, what, like, if someone really... Now, I don't think anyone's going to do this, nor should they. But it would totally be plausible to sit there and painstakingly replace all of the guard, the male guards, with just female body models. <laughs> and just do it that way. Yeah, they could. And I was literally right about to say, but who would want to? And it's like, who the fuck am I talking about here? The Dragon Age uh, yeah. community, somebody wants to. <laughs> someone's horny enough. Wasn't Meredith Drop wearing it. the same armor? Well, yeah, it's hat. similar, but it's not quite the same. She I has fishnets, guys. This come on. Yeah, come on. That's, <laughs> she's the boss. That's how you know she's the boss. She has fishnets. Oh, God. God. It, to me. it is an escort, but I think you will agree the nature of the party makes this unique. It's just so ridiculous. Both Fenris and Aveline, they just have shoulder pads. At least Fenris has pants. Are his oh. are his nipples pierced? Yeah. What the fuck? And his belly button. Oh, you're <laughs> right. Yeah, that's uh, that's a thing. Hey, you know, some people like that. I'm not doing anything until I know who I'm <clears throat> working for. My name also, can is can we just? I, I, I want to tell people about a story that is, uh, is very true and happened she to me in eighth grade. Uh, there well, was uh, a kid at my school. Like this. Um who I was kind of friends with. We were we're kind of like in a circle of friends. We're talking at Playground one time. And uh, he just says something like, oh, ow, and he like rubs his peck. We're like, oh, what's wrong? He's like, well, don't tell anyone this because I don't want my mom to know, but I really want a pierced nipple. And so I just did it myself with a safety pin. Oh, what the hell? I know, right? And like all of us like, what the fuck? He's like, yeah, I'm wearing it right now and it really hurts, but like I just really want it, you know? Like, what the <laughs> fuck, dude? <laughs> oh, what a strange overshare on his part, but also just yeah. like, wow, what the determination, man. Yeah, I like the determination and the lack of like, I don't even want to call it creativity, but it's just like, I mean, like, you could you could have gone and done that. <laughs> well, well, here here's another thing though. It's not like he took off his shirt and I never saw blood or anything. So it could have totally been him. he was lying. He'd we don't actually know. <laughs> I want to believe he was just lying to impress either. the girls, but you like to impress. You <laughs> I know, right? Like those who leave their <laughs> I am a fourteen year old boy and I'm really nerdy and I pierced my nipple with the safety pin and I metal. But like attacking an ally would only confirm their I can't believe it. You are still right for the task. Um, I got it. Uh, what are we doing with this? Um, we're accepting this quest, right? Because we want to. I mean, we have to. Yeah, no Jesse matter what Humboldt you say, you have to do it. Fire. Yeah, we're just gonna give him to the canary though, because we don't we don't give two shits. I can Fine, have him. We don't care. He's a bit conspicuous for the streets, though. <clears throat> Why would they do this to him? This mage will be a fine example of how cruel Kunari are. I like how It'll Meryl is worried own. about the cruelty of this guy when she tried to cut her own head off. So. <laughs> The passage here well, that was that was uh, done to herself, you know. This is uh, dangerous, but that we're doing is it to someone else, and that's not right by Mary, apparently. <clears throat> now, I, I will say, I don't think that like piercing things by yourself isn't always a terrible idea. <sighs> like, I like my mom pierced my ears, like, because why not? But uh, then again. She's a medical professional. She knew how to do that. Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, that, well, that's true. But like, I feel like that's a normal. Well, maybe not normal anymore. But it used to be, right? I think. Like, I'm pretty sure my mom said her mom pierced her ears. Also, mm -hmm. it's just more of like an old school thing. People used to do that. But like piercing like your nipples which is one an extremely sensitive spot and then two also like you're a 14 year old kid and you're probably a huge dumbass so it's like you're gonna do it right and then also <laughs> it's a safety end like i feel like there's a, yeah. a lot of bad things about oh, that story there's a lot of bad things about that story yeah especially <laughs> the part where yeah just the, especially the part where it happens <laughs> just all of it <laughs> it's all terrible 
What are some of your crazy elementary middle school stories? Uh, I was gonna ask the I was right about to ask the chat room to change the topic. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just like I just feel like there's I just feel like there's some element of like you know, not that I not that I genuinely think we should feel guilty about it, but some element of what's the term I'm using for uh, the term I'm looking for. I don't know. Um, rights of the accused or something like that. Oh, uh, okay, that's fair. Where folks are not able to speak for themselves. Uh, not like they would have a good excuse. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like... <laughs> the best part would be if that guy was an adult and he was here now and he just doubled down and he's just like, look, man, I really wanted that fucking nipple... <laughs> he defends hey, it. I still have it and it's looking great. What do you want? <laughs> um, oh, God. Good Lord. Um... Well, okay, we'll change the subject. Then. Are, we, <laughs> are we streaming Anthem tomorrow? Is that a thing that we're going to do? Oh, uh, we'll have to talk about what time. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm down either way. Word. We got some wonderful fan art. Um, oh, we did? Yeah, didn't, didn't somebody draw a picture off the dummy thick thing? Oh, yeah, dummy thick. Hold on, let me let me get the username. I think I think she's here. I think Danielle, I saw the other right? Ro Ro I think. I thought so. Oh, I have 3,000 tweets. Congrats, me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats, <laughs> me. Uh, okay. Uh, the Twitter username is L and a Sullen. And it's um, off of Alpaca's Dummy Thick. She, she drew a very wonderful uh, <laughs> interceptor saying what Alpaca said, a very disgusted Owen. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's me. Yeah, hello. <clears throat> I always like I always like it when people make stuff. That's uh Yeah, it, it's fun and then also like a bit humbling cuz like someone sat there and enjoyed some stupid shit we said enough to like spend like uh like if that took less than an hour I would be surprised, you know? Like they yeah. they spent like an hour plus of of their hard hard earned time <laughs> to to like make something for for us and like for this and that's so strange right. but also very very nice and it's 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 weird. Isn't that something? It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Um for the choice for the Katojin thing, um <laughs> yes. in general. When when you do this, you know, first time, serious playthrough, that kind of thing. Thoughts yes. on that? On, on Katojin? Um, I'm, I mean, it's, it's, I, I feel like it's, I, I, the first time, and I guess in my canon play with you, I don't give him back to the Canary. At the same time, like, he kind of wants to go back, but then when he doesn't go back, he's like, I mean, this is not how I wanted, but it's gonna die anyway, so I'm not really that mad. He's like, he's out. So it's, it's this weird almost non-choice. Like, I feel like what you're really mm -hmm. choosing is your hawk. Like, do you value someone's life or do you value their ability to choose? But then also the questionable choice of are they actually choosing if their their mind is being controlled by a thing? But it's, it's also like their culture. So it's like this weird. Yeah, I, I, I was very frustrated by it the first time, first couple of times, because I, the reason why I like it retrospectively is because it really turns on its head this idea of like RPGs where you're getting to choose things that have to do with an NPC mm -hmm. and it really empowers the player to kind of make decisions about other people's lives that's basically all RPGs including a lot of Bioware RPGs and sometimes it makes sense because you're a specter or you're a warden or something mm -hmm. but sometimes it doesn't make any sense you, you shouldn't just get to decide what other people do and so at first I was like frustrated by that because I'm like, why won't this asshole see <laughs> that his, <laughs> his fucking ideology is whack and it's taking away his freedom and blah, blah, blah. But it kind of, it, it throws in your face this sort of more quote unquote real life thing of like, you can't choose four people. Not really. Yeah. Um, I always really <laughs> like this question. Man, there's a lot of fucking spiders. I just want to get you. Oh, I just remembered it's going to be spring, and now the spiders are going to come into the house, and it's going to be great. Um, what do you guys have in Ohio? Do you guys have any major crazy ones? Um, you know, I don't know. I feel like I haven't really been here long enough to, like, know the the 
spider situation. I just know there's spiders. I, I will say I grew up in a house that had uh, brown recluses, so everything after that seemed pretty tame. I was gonna uh, say, because like Texas and uh, <laughs> what, where were you before? Oklahoma, right? Oklahoma, yeah. So Texas and Oklahoma are like crazy brown recluse area. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, it's, um, I, uh, I don't, I mean, I like spiders. I don't like, I try not to kill them and things like that because they get rid of other bugs, but you gotta be mm -hmm. careful if, <laughs> if you were to do a brown, they're not aggressive at all. Like they want to just get yeah. out of the way, but. Yeah, I feel like I saw brown recluses all the time as a kid. It's just like, oh, it's that thing that probably shouldn't bite me. Like, never had a problem with it. Just killed it and moved on. It wasn't like a huge, huge deal. Trap. <clears throat> they, they're not aggressive, but they do tend to get into places like sheets and clothes and stuff where you know you're likely to freak them out, and then uh, and then you're gonna have to have your toe cut off. <laughs> I knew a girl. Surprise! I knew a girl um, when she was oh. a kid. She had she lost her toe. Really? And that always freaked me out, right? Like, cause it was, I guess, the situation where she was bit, like, probably right when she went to bed, and then so it's like eight hours later. Uh huh. And by the time they uh, they noticed it was it was gone. Wow. Yeah, by the time they got it to the yeah, this this has got this appendage has got to go. Oh wow, I like I literally have never heard of anyone having any this problems with brown with brown recru recluses. But no That's pretty crazy. Coin. Yeah, that is actually, now that I think about it, I always, like, what had that idea or that, like, thought in my head, but that's the only some sort of instance I ever I heard of that. Maybe I should get rid yeah, of wow. and see who will pay the most for your pet. Uh, I don't think it likes <clears throat> you threatening its master. Maybe we let this one pass. Uh, Antonio says he's from a tropical island and they have, uh, cane spiders? Let's Google and be horrified. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, canes. I'm seeing images, but I don't really have. One. Oh, they're big. <laughs> <laughs> but like, but like the body is the body is big, or the legs are just long. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so this one guy had. Well, I guess this is a Florida cane spider, so I don't know if they're. Uh, different, but at least a Florida cane spider. He has it on his hand, and it seems like a it, it's a grown man's hand. And at least one leg is touching the top of his like middle finger, and then the other leg extends like to almost the width of the palm. Um, so it's pretty big. It's about hand size. Uh, hey, I hate it. We have a couple of people saying let's not talk about spiders, but. There were just spiders on screen, or are those just fake spiders so they don't count? Kill it. Kill it. Well, there are some people who legitimately really hate spiders enough that, like, for pretty much every Dragon Age game I can think of, there's a mod to get rid of the spiders. Yes. Which I don't, no offense, don't get, but... I mean, some people have phobias, but I like, uh, uh, Mark Dara had a question in one of the Game Informer rapid question interviews about, like, mm -hmm. will there be a setting to turn off spiders? And I think Mark Dara's response was something to the effect of, we consider putting more spiders in the game. Oh, I think I remember that. <laughs> uh, it doesn't, doesn't sound like Bioware's going to be letting up anything. Why does Bioware like spiders so much? Like, I feel like Bioware, like, there have been spiders in every game, but I can't really think of another... Pre like prevalent mob like they sure dark swan and undead are always there but they always i don't know they're not as there's not as many of them i feel like but like spiders i feel like i played a fairly decent role in like all of the, uh, the games i don't know maybe that's just me uh no i think you're right i think you're right it's kind of like a like a trope for them yeah hold your spells katojin or I swear I will gut you. Spiders are in all RPGs. That's fair. Yeah, there was a. You're heck. You're playing uh, Skyrim. They got a fair amount of spiders, don't they? Uh, they do have a fair amount of spiders, and I was conflicted because I'm playing a pacifist character, and I'm like, spiders count. Ah, uh, yeah. You're playing one of those. Uh, are you? Are now you're playing it where like you can have a companion that can fuck shit up, or like? I'm going hardcore. Well, not hardcore. The only thing I'm not killing any people. Undead. Don't give a fuck about. I don't know what's gonna happen when I run into a vampire. I'm really conflicted about that. Um, cause mm. in, in, in Elder Scrolls lore, vampires are basically dead. Um, but like, I'm thinking more like Witcher 3, like Rageous Vampire, mm. and I'm like, mm, is, is it a person? I don't know. Um. I mean, I you said. can, uh, can't you do like a do romance with that right one vampire girl that everyone really liked? Oh, Where you're she right. like covers her head cause the sunlight, but her herself. boobs are all exposed, <laughs> so they're not making any sense. Very good point. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, so I'm not sure about vampires, but yeah, I've been killing the spiders. I was kind of conflicted at first, but I realized like I do want to do some combat, and I can't just kill draugers, so I got to include spiders. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Creatures, um, the character that I made, she won't kill um, animals unless like she really has to. Um, yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to find odd ways to challenge myself in Skyrim. Yeah, all right. Can't actually romance Serana. No, okay, no, I just I just see enough of her that I thought that was possible. I, I never actually played the only Skyrim DLC I had was uh not Hearthstone, it's the house one. Mean, yes. <laughs> Because I wanted to build a house. <laughs> it's actually oddly fun, and it's a, it, they have so many is. great um, mods now that you know let you build mm. custom, like modded player homes that still oh. use the uh, the same system of building. Oh, yeah. that's cute. One of my favorite Skyrim playthroughs ever. I think I mentioned this before in a video. Is where I played a farmer. Mm-hmm. It was like a farmer slash hunter, and like I had like hardcore survival mods on, so it's hard to just like live. You know, you're about to freeze to death and starve to death and die of thirst. And like, <laughs> I started with nothing but a bow and like the clothes on my back, and like made money selling pelts. And like, there's mods that make the hunting way more realistic and way more profitable, but still within mm-hmm. like a balance. And like, literally built up this one guy from nothing to like owning businesses, owning his own farm, owning mines, building a house, like, and then like eventually being rich. And it was like my little rags to riches story. Mm-hmm. That is one of my favorite playthroughs ever of Skyrim. You will hold I feel like no matter what I do I with I Skyrim, I played it once and I can't play it again. I, I don't get the replayability the of Skyrim. Of this wow, well, I mean, tell me about that. That's interesting because I feel the total opposite. To yeah, because I like how many, like, God, I probably played the Dragon Age series upwards of 10 times and I love it every time, but with Skyrim, I, I can't. I, I, I think it's because I don't really like the story of Skyrim, and I think there is something about like making your own story in RPGs in Skyrim, but like th- there was so much you there I had to do myself, it just kind of got tiring, and I'd rather condition. like if I'm gonna like make that much of a story, I might as well just write a story. <laughs> you know what I mean? Only here. So like I just I do not know uh, how you come to hold yeah. I well no that I mean you yeah, I think no you're totally right in a sense like it makes sense it matters like which pieces you like to move and if he doesn't because in Mass Effect and Dragon Age you're right like it's it's the story it's not the same because you have player choices and different things happen but at this point I know what a lot of the big pieces are I just like rearranging them like for Skyrim and not forever I mean for Dragon Age Mass Effect he is allowed no other purpose so it's like it's the same how do I, it's like the same archetype but a different style it's it's sort of like do you, which puzzle pieces do you like to move if you like to move mm-hmm. dialogue options and companion relationships you want to play dragon age mass effect but if you like to move you know what is my class going to be like where am i going to go where am i going to set up camp all this different stuff mm-hmm. you want to play something like elder scrolls i happen to like both a lot but i totally get what you're saying where it's like there's just not enough Meaty storiness in Elder Scrolls games often. Yeah. Except for the main quest, which is like you play it once and that's it. Yeah. And that I guess that's that's what I, I did. I, I played it once. I did all the, the things. Would not want for the most part. I actually didn't finish the main quest, which maybe I should do that. Uh, <laughs> but I finished everything else. And uh, the main quest didn't really interest me, and so I just kind of stopped that was it. And i tried a couple times to like you know get into all the mods because i played a mostly no vanilla playthrough when i did it the first control. time so i don't know just never really got into it very much i guess yeah well i mean like the the i think skyrim is the best out of all the elder scrolls games some people think that's, oh yeah um, i think that's blasphemy but i really do think <clears> it's the best one but i will say the main quest okay but like really man the dark brotherhood the thieves guild West. Oh, those yeah. That's those where it's good. at. The I I I can't really choose My which one I like more: the Thieves Guild or the Dark Brotherhood, because they're both really solid. To you, that's his business. You show an unusual. I hated the werewolf reason, one. Basra. Oh, the companions was so oh, weak, like compared to the fighter. I mean, honestly, the, the, the Fighters Guild was always like the least interesting one anyway. Mm-hmm. But the companions was were just like, I don't know. Yeah, I, I didn't you dig it at all. Certain? Nah. <laughs> What were the other side quests? There's there's another here. one, right? It was Companions. Uh, the Mage's College. The Mage College. Yeah, even that one was kind of weak, but still better than the Werewolves. Yeah, the Mage's College was so <laughs> underwhelming, well, and then you become the Archmage after being a student for like two weeks. It makes no sense. 
But again, like, again, like, mods fix everything. And I know some people don't like this, but I consider Skyrim what type of game it is with mods. And with mods, it's perfect. There's nothing I can't change about the game. <laughs> I'll, I'll be sitting there playing it, and I go, I wish I had this. And then I'll just pause the game, Jesus open up a new tab, search Skyrim Special Edition, whatever mod, and sure enough, there's something there. Like, there's a mod for everything you can think of. Mm -hmm. Make us breath. Why? He lost his lead. Fiha Katojin. Fiha. He has earned his death by honoring you. He knows the Kune once more. <laughs> Run script Fiha gun. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, no, okay, so back back to the story point. Um I just thought it was mm -hmm. I just thought it was really good. I, I felt like Dragon Age 2 was really where as I mentioned, I think on the last time in dealing with the era shock, it was like, oh, okay, now I know what the Kune is. This was another mm. moment. This was another moment of that. Where I'm like, okay, I don't like it, but now I really feel like this is a culture that is that is unique, and it's mm -hmm. it's a very interesting fictional culture. Um, I'm sure there's something else similar in some other fantasy series I'm just not aware of, but it felt really novel, and I was like, huh, yeah, I don't know that I like this whole Kune. I don't know if I like this Kunari way of thinking, but I get it. Like, it's a, it's a very distinct thing, whereas in Origins, I'm like, why is this Sten guy so weird? You know, even though I like yeah. Sten, it, now it felt more fleshed out. Yeah. What the blazes is wrong so, with you? So, here's something that Attack was on my mind the other day. So, I, I, after that, I um, Jason Schreier article you came out about, exposed, like, how no crazy Anthem's, uh, words. I guess, development cycle was. Um, I, I heard some talk about, Sarah like, oh, well, you know, honor. Bioware Great only point. had about, let's say, like, Not a generous year to really work on the game that we cut. know what it is now. Um, and that's why the story's shit. And then I feel like... I, I was like, oh, that makes sense. But now looking at Dragon Age 2, I'm like, well, hold on. <laughs> Dragon Age 2 literally only had about a year's worth of development. Not like Anthem that had, you know, six plus years, technically. Um, and the Dragon Age 2 story is just so much better. Like, it's flawed. It definitely is. But, like, the Dragon Age 2 story is the reason why it still holds up as a good game. You know what I mean? You're 100% right. Yeah. I'm so... So I guess, like... Oh no! Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh no! You you go ahead. I was I was literally just gonna say I'm so reluctant to talk about it because I'm still <laughs> like I'm literally in the process of like writing down notes to really sort of process how I feel about the whole article. That's fair. I'm still waiting for that that other one before I really. Right, Jason Schreier. Think. For those that don't know, posted on uh, Reddit somewhere saying that he had. Um, well, in the story itself, he said there's there's going to be a Dragon Age reveal coming up, mm -hmm. and someone said when, and uh, they asked him on Reddit. And he said, um, hopefully this week, which, I mean, the week's over now. It's Saturday and uh, nothing. So I guess it could be next week. Yeah, something like that. Because he had the other article come out about video game workers need a union. Or I, I think I botched that title or something like that. So I wonder if, like, he only has two big articles coming out a week. And so that was going to be the second article. So the next one is the Dragon Age one, apparently. But... Weehoo! That'll be fun. <clears throat> Another thing that I noticed, especially you know, as I said, coming off Skyrim, I like how different combat systems are totally different but both enjoyable. I always really like combat in Dragon Age. It feels, I'm sure, to watch it or to play it for the first time compared to more like hands on, quote unquote, active combat systems, it feels disconnected, but not mm -hmm. really. When you get used to it, it feels very connected with how much control you have over the party. Yeah, something that just came to me. I think maybe one reason I wasn't as big into Skyrim is because I frankly have very little self-control. So no matter what I want to do with a new character, I was always going into like what was easiest. So I stole a lot. I was a stealth archer. Like, <laughs> yeah. like it, 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 there wasn't really room for role playing. I was just trying to play the game as best as I could, and because I couldn't really have those hard limitations because I could do anything, and there were only self-imposed. I was like, well, I'll just do it this once. I'll just do it this once. Yeah. Oh, deal. And then I just, uh, now I'm a stealth archer. That's the time. So uh -huh. I, I feel like Dragon Age gave me that structure and like 
whenever I try to do something I could and it slapped me in the head and like, oh, right, I have to stick to my my, my goal here. That's such a good point. I'm running into that. Now, well, the pacifist thing is one element of it, but then another character that I made is like a bounty hunter and, you know, he's uh, he's much more violent, but he won't steal. Like, I came up with this idea of his of his uh, backstory of, like, he thinks stealing is sort of beneath him, like... Mm -hmm. uh, but but I've got these like hardcore survival mods on where you have to craft everything and like the carrying the carry weight is really low, and mm -hmm. so like God I really need a backpack and in order to make this backpack I really need to find a buckle. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like yeah. And then like I'll be in some rich person's house who has all this fucking shit and they've got some you know assorted buckle lying around and I'm like they're fucking rich and I just need a buckle. Okay. <laughs> Like, I just want this goddamn buckle. I'm so tired of being over-encumbered. I need a backpack. And I did not steal the buckle because it would have broken the role play. But I totally get what you mean. But if it was me, I would have taken the you buckle. You would have taken that damn buckle. That would have been my buckle. The whole house would have been robbed. I'm like, oh, no, just this one time. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, no. Do you ever like this is uh there's a uh okay the second point was stupid the first point i wanted to bring up uh do you ever think of, like so many people have like little characters like for their hawks and their skyrim characters and you know all, all this stuff and like create such elaborate backstories and like never really make the light of day I, like i don't know i just find that interesting that like we we care we put so much care into craft into these little video games and stuff like that. And, like, no one's really going to see them. Like, I have a whole bunch of Dragon Age thing, like, like characters mm -hmm. that no one's really going to hear about and talk about because, like, I don't care to. And I'm sure you yeah. have the same thing, everyone Absolutely. in the chat. Like, if you don't really draw or write, then it's just kind of there in your head and it's just going to be there forever. I'm like, oh, man, that's, like, kind of sad in a way. Like, we put so much work into these things and they're just stuck. I agree with that. It is kind of sad. Um, I guess that... I you know where I think that comes from is tabletop role playing was really started by people who like fantasy novels, right? Mm, yeah. And so that was the idea. It's like you were reading well, Lord of the Rings and you wanted to go on your own adventure and you wanted to make it up as you went along. And so that was sort of better, a lot better than just daydreaming because you got your friends in and you've got a dungeon master and everyone's kind of contributing to the story. But it's it sort of exists and is lost in that room. Yeah. And, and you look at the video games that Bioware makes i mean they they blatantly you know Baldur's gate is it is a D, &D thing mm -hmm. um it, it was all kind of spawned from that so it doesn't surprise me that dragon age especially still has that lineage because you're totally mm -hmm. right like i've written pages about how hawk's character arc and i've talked about this before is a redemptive arc i changed the way that he acts act one act two act three basically showing how like what's going on with the mages turns him to be a lot more like Anders. This was a and then I, for that reason, that I love the idea of him me. sacrificing himself in Inquisition really to sort of like atone. So important? Yeah. That's all in my if head, but it makes so much sense to me. In the mage, yeah, yeah. If the Kunari but yeah, like, give it, like, help it. there's probably yes, so many, like, D&D groups out there that have some really wonderful and interesting writing and things that happen, and we'll just never hear about that. Like, stuff that's, like... Uh, I guess that's why I really if like D&D podcasts, like the idea of them, is that, like, e even if they're not, like, the best D&D stories or whatnot, they're they're at least recording that and getting it out there and preserving that. And I, I respect that, you know? So. So to, to um, loop this, I'm sorry for talking about Skyrim so much. But oh, to, go for it. To, to loop it back to Skyrim again and kind of to your point about how, like, that's a game where you really have to make up your own story. Um, mm -hmm. there's a, there is, of course, a mod for a journal that you can actually like type into and write into. Oh, yeah. um, and you can, they, they've actually, it was hard, but someone actually made a way to export those. Um, oh. So I actually, I didn't export it. I actually ended up losing it. Kind of a bummer, just like you Aww. mentioned. But I actually did one like that for that farmer character I was talking about. And I got to tell mm -hmm. you, I would sit there for like 30 minutes, like writing a journal entry about what this guy was going through. And it was like a whole story about how like, he wanted to make something of himself, and he's from um, uh, Cyrodiil, and that's where his family's from. And, like, they weren't, like, Aww. poor or anything, but, like, he was frustrated with the fact that, like, his parents never tried to do something more. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, like, he came to Skyrim to sort of make his lot as a hunter, and he wanted to, like, do all these other things. And so, like, that whole Rags to Riches story, like, fed into those journal entries, and I was really mm -hmm. into it. Like, I really enjoyed writing about this guy's life. 
I saw something like that sort of on Reddit. They had like a, a physical journal that they wrote in and like drew mm. pictures in and whatnot. And then like, uh, what was it? I think it was Skyrim at least. Like they, they traveled around Skyrim as a painter. And like, so they, they find an interesting and scenery in the game and then they like free. paint it in this little like physical notebook they escape, had. That was so cool. My pity is it's genuine, like this weird. But they are not that's really us. beautiful. That's an awesome yeah. idea. Yeah, so I don't know. Oh my god, am I am I like sappy and weird for thinking of this? You know what would be really cool is if they did that. I don't know if this person has children, but then they like gave the journal to their kid oh. and was like, "Here, go find these places in this game." Oh no! Now I oh that's sweetie. <laughs> is that, that? I feel like that would be a really cool idea. Oh, that would be a really cool character where it's like that person's actual child pretending to be that character's child oh, in stop. the footsteps of their stop. father. Oh, oh god. <laughs> You just hit me right in the feels. God damn oh. <laughs> Somebody's cutting onions. God damn it. Oh, no. Oh, God. Wait. Yeah, like, I, my my parents aren't really the fantasy types, but, like, they're, it's totally plausible. Like, when we have kids or whatever, they, like, find, like, our remnants of, like, old D&D &D well, characters and, like, yeah. game characters and, like, maybe adopt that or, like, even use that in their own stories. And that's just so bizarre to me, but also be really cute. No like, there might be lineages of made-up characters that we Take don't know about for generations. Well, like, in MMOs, Rest you could assured, you could quite do that to some extent, right? I, I don't know. I, that, that's really the interesting to me, yeah. And also, like, I mean, just too high. that has to come from the fact that parents do pass certain things down. Like, not in that way. Like, my dad didn't play video games, but I still, mm -hmm. like, when he sat me down to watch Star Wars for the first time, he's like, we're gonna watch this, and like, no, you don't get it. Like, you're gonna love this. Like, this is, this is gonna be something that's, like, really special. And it, and it really was. Like, I ended up loving mm -hmm. Star Wars. But I guess people have always kind of done that. But with video games, you could set them down into that exact same world and let them explore it how they want, you know? Yeah. Oh, no. Now I just want to share video games with my kids. I don't <laughs> even have kids. Uh, what, what, like, okay, let's say you have, like, an eight-year-old. So I guess it's, you know, depending on the age. But what, what are some, like, I guess, kid-friendly games that you would line Zelda. up and be like, all right... Zelda. Zelda. Okay. You gotta Which start... one, though? Well, I mean, it's tough to give them the original now, because now, I don't know if that necessarily resonates, but it depends on how you start them off. I feel like Ocarina of Time has aged incredibly well. Mm. I mean, the graphics... Maybe the remastered version. <laughs> yeah, but... yeah, the graphics aren't going to be great, but, like, I still think when you get out into Hyrule Field for the first time, like, that's that would... St I haven't played it in years. I'm acting like, I, I don't know, maybe if I fired it up today, it would feel small or old, but... Mm -hmm. several years ago I, I i played it again and i'm like good lord it still feels like maybe not huge but the feeling of wanting to explore is still there mm -hmm. you know when you get out into the into the main open world and the music hits and you're just like oh my god i just want to i just want to look around mm -hmm. i think it's the perfect exploration game i think it's great for that it would be very i think that would be a good place to start that'd be pretty cute i would really like uh <laughs> sharing animal crossing because like me as a kid Ooh, loved one. that and like I, that's also like a family game because like all of the animal crossings that like at least i've played they have like um different houses you can have so you can have multiple people in the same town that'd be super cute yeah that would be super um what's another uh pokemon i think is another one Pokemon's sort of like... pretty classic but I, I also feel like i don't really have a strong connection to pokemon though because I, I kind of that kind of missed me in the 90s but yeah, it's like RPG Lite. Like, I was uh, at one yeah. point, um, I don't know, many, many years ago, I was, like, talking to some of my friends about, like, what's the first RPG you ever played? And we were all thinking of things, and it's like, well, it might be Pokemon, because Pokemon is an RPG, but it doesn't feel like an RPG in the traditional sense somehow. I feel like it's kind of getting closer to a traditional RPG, though, because you can start to make, make your character and customize it and, True. like, going through choices and whatnot. So um, I feel like it's getting closer. You don't have a Switch, do you? I, can get? I don't know. Yeah, Pokemon. Well, there's going to be the new one that's coming out. That. How dare you? Oh, <laughs> Sword <laughs> Shield and my favorite made-up one, Gun. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be... If there was a Pokemon Gun, I think I would go out and buy it just because that's so funny. To me. That's pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> we found a number of dead. God, that fucking armor. Uh, Flukas says, wife and I have, have shared Animal Crossing with our daughter. She's but 20 now and obsessed with it to this day. Have proven your That's really great. Yeah. Ability. 
Um, what was I going to uh, Yeah, the new Pokemon game coming out looks interesting to me. And then there's also um, Pokemon Let's Go, right? Is that my getting that right? Oh, yeah. So let's Go Pikachu. And Let's Go Eevee, yeah. Um, yeah. That's kind of like light version of it. It's like Pokemon Go plus the light version of the mainstay Pokemon games. And I've heard some people say that's okay. Um, not enough for me to get a Switch, but it looks interesting. Embarrassment. Mm-hmm. I think the only the, the one thing, and I, Michael, I've talked to this about Michael, so he knows as soon as the Animal Crossing uh, trailer comes out for the Switch, we're going to get a console because that's the only reason that we get a Switch. So, like, I want to play Breath of the Wild. There's a couple of their Switch things I'd like to play, but I would only buy it for Animal Crossing. <laughs> yep. Well, uh, for me, it's 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 mounting, right? I want to play Super Smash Brothers. That's out. I really want to play Breath of the Wild. That's out. I think once once Don't, Pokemon comes out, that'll be it for me. I think I might have to get it. I thought you already had one for some reason. No. Because uh, I thought you bought Super Smash Brothers. Maybe I'm, maybe that was somebody else. I don't know. Oh, let's talk about Oh, it. okay. Yo, no, I think that was another friend of mine. Okay, sorry. I just get used to it with another guy. <laughs> Varric, no. Other games I'd want to share with captain, kids, though. I don't know. I feel like... Easy. I, well, I played a lot of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle as a kid. That's not one I would share. That one needs to just <laughs> go, go to the dark place and just stay there. <laughs> I'm about to. Uh, I know there's a game Michael wants to share. He, uh, um, There's this... God, I don't know what the name of it is, but it's kind of like a robot Victor, RPG coming, that huh? came out for the, the GameCube, God. I think. Maybe the Thank PlayStation. You, I, I can't remember which one it is. He has like very fond memories of that. Uh, I think uh, maybe Final Fantasy X would be fun be, to like laugh at because some of that English voice acting is the worst. But is Mortal Kombat still going to be a game kids can play? Is that a thing or is it over? I was just watching some footage from the new Mortal Kombat. Oh and- yeah, the new Mortal Kombat's been like the old Mortal Kombat. I think would be. Um, I mean, it's still violent, but it's almost like. It's like Cartoon? big, juicy drops of blood. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like they... it, it, it feels like really fake. But when you wa- watch like the new highly rendered yeah. nut sack exploding or whatever it was, <laughs> you're like, oh, that's a little, a little much. <laughs> it's um, I just feel old to say this, but like I'm watching it going like, is that a little much? You know, is it a little over the top? That much violence? Mm-hmm. And then I go, am I getting old, or is it just that the graphics being more realistic changes? It? I feel like the graphics being changed, like it changes it. I, I would say it's the graphics, but then again, I'm also the same age as you, so maybe I'm time. also getting old. Like so I feel like I'm not a good. Sample. Just a collection of minutes. Custom Second. Robo, yes. yes. Sorry, uh, the game that Michael time. liked was Custom Robo. He's not with me. I know. Yeah, what was I watching? Was I don't remember the. Side, I don't remember which characters it was, um, no but it was a fatality, and um, what I keep is that moment. He takes I the guy and like smashes like his again. head onto the ground until so that this like you know, his skull is basically fractured, looks terrible, and then grabs like just the top part of his face and rips off just the top part of his skull, like his eyes yeah. and his nose. So then the brain is there. And mm-hmm. then stabs the brain inside of the skull and then pulls it out. And I'm like, Good The fact Lord. that this keeps going is kind of funny. And then bites it. And just Whoa, takes it. okay. Bites. And I'm just <laughs> like, okay. Like, I guess that's cool if you're, who? Like, who thinks that that's cool? I don't understand. Like, who is this supposed to appeal to exactly? It just seems so juvenile like that level of violence it just seems so ridiculous i i feel like we all knew that kid in school though that was really just there to brag about how much violent shit he saw behind his parents back you know what i mean yeah i guess so yeah so i, I feel like it's that kid the kid that listens to death metal and was like yeah i played at least that's what it was when i was a kid like there was that kid that was really into death metal and was like yeah i really like violent games like uh what was Postal was that the game that was like really violent? The, less the maker does, the more he's proven. That was kind of like our I childhood. I don't know, like yeah, but you can't remember that well. Oh, uh, what, I married what is... a man, a good one. <sighs> now I can't remember gone. any games that came out in my childhood that were super violent. Like, I didn't it know, is like, lovely. I them. Perhaps that's all it needs to be. Anyway, but I mean, as far as fighting games go, and sort of talking about the Switch again and games that you can give to your kids, Super Smash Brothers is the best fighting game of all time to me. Just because it's so different in that it's not like mm-hmm. a simple life bar situation. First of all, it's a brawl. It's a melee. It's a bunch of characters. 
Second, mm-hmm. it's not as simple as just like, hey, you've got a life bar. When your life bar is gone, that's it. Some of the most fun Smash Brothers matches you can have is when your percentage is like super high. You're yeah. like 400% and like one little hit like sends you flying, but you somehow manage to stay on the platform. Those are the mm-hmm. best games ever. Those are good. I guess I was never really into Smash because, like, again, I don't have any siblings, so it was like, all right, I bought Smash. None of my friends like video games. I just play alone. I also don't like losing, so like those two things together didn't didn't work well. Yeah. Seriously though, keep your. Why do you have? Why do you do streams while I have shit to do? Why do you have shit to do all the time? My question. Right. I'm with you, Hawk. To a point. Oh, Harvest Moon. See, I... Stardew Valley is such a better Harvest Moon than I would just do Stardew Valley, I think. Like, I know, granted, Stardew Valley has, like, uh, um, smoking and alcohol references, but they're so tame and it's more, like, realistic in a way that, like, I, I'd let my five-year-old play Harvest Moon. Sure, why not? It's 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 so much more relaxed and like it's such a better game compared to any of the Harvest Moons I've ever played. So I guess we should go around and talk to some people at their home. That... Yeah, maybe talk. Yeah, try to try to get some approval. All right. Well, so we'll try and actually be nice to people. <laughs> I don't know about that. Like, we, let's 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 try to be mean to them. We can get uh, negative points. Yeah, let's get a rivalry. We're not nice on this stream, Jordan. Who do you think we are? <laughs> We're forcing them to wear slutty outfits. Are we going to be nice? <laughs> oh, this, I mean, they weren't taking it anymore. They would not stand for yeah. it. Oh, we forced them to come back. <laughs> I didn't think you'd come. I'll find some. God, seeing Meryl like talk with her blue head is going to be horrifying. Oh, yeah, the blue head's the part that's weird, not the fucking nipples. Well, I mean, like, depending on which angle no, you No, look don't at that side angle. Look at that side. I have oh, water. well. Okay, okay. Oh, boy. Oh man, that's just just out there, huh? I I like how like the body is so modeled to the point I where like it, it water from this part of the city. It has a lot of little details, but the actual costume looks like it was painted in actually. MS Paint, you know? It's terrible, yeah. It won't yeah. Stop twitching. Like they really just wanted it to have nipples and high heels and then the bot like, oh shit, maybe we should what put some clothes on this, I here? guess. <laughs> it's black. <laughs> Eh, it's black. With the belts, I guess. Bringing you here wasn't exactly a favor. It's Did you choose a romance? No, Richard, I think we're not really going to choose a romance until Act 2 anyway, be. so we're just going to kind of play the field. I, exactly I feel like it's uh, the best option. Not even among my own yeah. clan. This is I feel like we're leaning towards Anders, tricky. but I don't know, maybe, maybe they'll, something will happen and we'll fall for somebody else. Ah, that's so harsh. We're not friends. All right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Don't jump to conclusions. We barely know each other. Oh, I know. I just meant I'm trying. <laughs> it's such a Versace thing. Thank like, you for coming we're not to friends, okay? You're the help. <laughs> it means a lot to me. <laughs> the help! <laughs> oh, God. Uh, wait, can we talk to her? Does this start the other quest? <laughs> She wants to just be warm. <laughs> this city is amazing. Do you know I saw someone get mugged? Right outside. It was fascinating. Everything happens here all at once. How does anyone keep it all straight? <laughs> She's the same rank as someone Donna. Well, uh, so he, I guess here's a question. She doesn't look it like an elf. We gave her a human treat. body. She doesn't, we guess we can't see her ears, but is she an elf or is she just some weird floating head monster? It's so busy here. So many things. We turned her into not an elf. Is that what you're saying? Like, I I can't. Like, because at least, like, Fenris has a human body, but he also still has the elf ears. I think he's still technically an elf. He's just extremely swole. Meryl, though. I don't know. I needed someone to talk to. Yeah, that's a good question. She just had a lot of plastic surgery. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it's plastic surgery. I think it's like some weird demonic cult or like this is the demon. 
because I, I do quite like the the theory we came up with of why her head and her rest of her is different colors is that she's a floating head that like sucks onto dead people's bodies right. and like uses them that's very amusing to me but uh... alright let's go talk to Varric like Varric so that's the true horrors of blood magic losing your body so, I've been dying to know, what was going through your head when you fought that ogre? For the first few seconds, what do they feed those things? <laughs> I don't know anyone else that's even seen one. You're lucky just to be standing here. Somehow, Hawk, I imagine things won't be dull with you around. Not that I expect the deep I feel like Vera could be that type of guy to dress up during Christmas and say, "Want to sit on Santa's lap?" in like a really creepy voice. I, you know I, mean? I the fact that that's not Dragon Age Two DLC is surprisingly a hundred percent accurate. Uh, what about I know you? when they uh, hitched Vera, they wanted to make him sleazy, Martin but then he turned out to be kind of lovable. So I wonder if like this is going back to the original enough, pitch. Most days. But it doesn't compare yeah, to the that's a good. That's a good point, though, right? So, Characters ending up this will somehow be, different than what you thought. Let's just call it mm -hmm. an adventure, I guess. Great. Now we're adventurous. Did you ever have, um, I guess, any character, but I guess maybe on topic, Dragon Age, like do something that you didn't weren't going to do beforehand, but then like when thinking about it, you're like, that's totally out of character. We have to do something else. Oh, do you mean like a protagonist that I decided? Yeah. Yeah. Remember only for the agony it caused. Uh, I'm sure I have. Let me. I'd have to think about that. Um, Dragon Age or Mass Effect? I don't know. Yeah, either. I mean, I know probably, and I think I've mentioned this one before. Like the big one where, like, after so many Mass Effect playthroughs, I just thought like, there's all of this. There's all this talk about, like, xenophobia and, like, pro-human versus, like, hey, being nice to aliens. And so I thought, like, well, wouldn't it be interesting? Hey, and I didn't think it through very much. I was just like, well, wouldn't it be interesting if Hawk oh, was essentially Hawk. kind of a xenophobe? <laughs> and then I'd, like, going to buy me a drink I thought that Liara... I thought it's just so interesting. Maybe it's just a flaw of how yeah. Liara is in Mass Effect 1, but, like, she doesn't take a hint. Like, she just oh, wants to be your goddamn forget, friend or you your girlfriend no matter what. Because I have a friend mm -hmm. who And so then I help. started thinking, like, it was a way more interesting roleplay idea to be like, well, what if what if Shepard is basically, like, a recovered xenophobe, right? Like, what if, like, throughout the course of the trilogy, she sort of adapts? Mm -hmm. So that was kind of more, not like one decision. It was more like a I changed the, uh, the roleplay into something more interesting. All right. But, yeah, I don't know. I kill that goddamn uh, Rachni Queen every time. <laughs> I have no hesitation. It, give, give me one of yours. Maybe it'll make me think of something kind of more in line. Uh, with me. Sorry, I'm sleepy. I Does got the pay? yawns. Okay, uh, so famous. there was one that uh, he might, he might not. I, I, didn't I originally didn't want to have a hundred different um, His name Dragon Age World states, so I thought I'd have the evil one right and the good one. So I was doing the evil one. Tell him I, said um, I rolled up like a princely now, character. It was a dude. Because uh, I'd already played a female. and It was a hu human noble. Uh, this is Inquisition, I should say. And uh, he was going to be all hoity-toity and whatever. And I was originally going to romance Josephine. But just, like, he worked so well with Dorian in a weird sense that, like, I made him so much nicer and then romanced Dorian. So, like, at the end of the playthrough, like, this is not who I went into this game with. So I, I kind of, like, just made that his character, that he just kind of met Dorian and, like, kind of chilled out a little bit. So I liked that story. That was fun. <clears throat> uh, Fenris is there. You go, Fen We gonna go talk to Fenris. We are, yeah. Man, there's some people up the really Gigio late. Pavali. There are six bottles in the cellar. Denarius used to have me pour it for his guests. My appearance intimidated them, he said, which he enjoyed. Oh, I, man, like, I honestly just don't understand how this guy's voice matches the vanilla. Yeah, it does so weirdly fit this weird monster we've made more than uh, like you. 
the actual vanilla Fenris. Uh, look at that. I like the voice, though. Huh? The way he drinks the bottle. I mean, I know it's just a limitation of the it's technology, but like, let me just hold this empty things. bottle up four inches away from my face like I'm drinking something. To be fair, it's a bit closer when it's actually on the elf model. It's not great, but it's like it is wonky because the human. That's model. true. I forgot about that. So I, I feel like this Fenris, he doesn't drink wine. He bathes mm, in wine. Apparently. So he was actually just pouring it on this. <laughs> I wanted to leave my past behind me. But I go back and there. forth in his voice all the time. Like, there's times where, Tell like, me, yes, it's very impressive you never that somebody to can, to can just go to that, to go that low and to just, like, yeah, okay. But it's kind of a ridiculous, isn't it? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm here for this voice, man. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Uh, I, I know. People, people, he, he has his fans. I get it. I, I see. I I guess I kind of see your point, but like I feel like fucking it. Cassandra. I mean, so look easily. at listen to her. What's wrong with Cassandra's voice? That, that well, the the voice pitch is fine, but like the accent is so wacky. She's Navarin, but she's also not. <laughs> yeah, she's she's. They asked her like, can you do some sort of accent? Which one? Yes, you <laughs> like. <it. laughs> What accent is that? It's nothing. It's some weird... Like, I love Cassandra, don't get me wrong. I like the weird accent in a way, but, like, no other Navarin is going to sound like Cassandra because no one can do whatever accent she's doing. But I think it's brilliant for this reason, right? She was born basically like Navarin nobility, but she's also spent time in Orlais, and now she's mainly lived in Ferelden recently. I and, guess. And spent time in the Free Marches, and obviously in Dragon Age 2, who... So isn't that kind of like people who have that weird sort of mixed accent because they've lived a bunch of places? But like, it's it's not like she really hasn't lived in Orlais and all those places that long. So I, I feel like that accent like light. wouldn't be no, that no longer crazy. Matters. You're right about that. No, that's true. Right. I'm stretching it a little bit, Your but that's because I like Cassandra. <laughs> Simply I mean, I like Cassandra too. I'm not. Familiar. I'm just I'm just saying like there's like it it is a bit weird. So. Do you intend to keep living here? I think all the I other characters are... Well, no, Ogren, Ogren and Zev Zevran. Okay, never mind, Zevran. He's Puss in Boots. Like, I think the actress is fine, there. but just sounds so much like Puss in Boots that it, like, it kills it for me. Is that where you're from? Um, best voice so ever in the entire Dragon Age series. For you? No, no, for, for, for you, I'm asking. What do you think it goes oh. to? Oh! God, this should be... You know what this should be? This should be, like, an episode of Split the Veil, where we just rank... Not yeah. the characters, but the acting... And like the voices that we like the most. Oh, but I, that would be really hard because I feel like the, all the performances are well, really yeah, solid. Yeah. So it really just be our personal Perhaps. opinions, which maybe that's. Oh what yeah, want. yeah. Um, we have our own separate list. Yeah. Uh, let's do male and female because I feel like my answers depend wildly. So female. Oh God, I, I have a really hard time picking between um, Claudia Black and Flemeth's voice actor, whose name I'm blanking out on. Uh, Kate Flemeth. Mulgrew. You call it Kate Mulgrew. Yes, I I really love Claudia Black's vocal tonality. I guess, uh, but God, Flemeth's acting is so good. I don't know how to choose. Yeah, I think Flemeth is incredible, but yeah, I, I agree. Claudia Black, her voice is uh, is really, really good. Because it's so it's, it sounds so unique that it it's it's very nice to hear a like I don't know. It's I feel like a lot in a lot of video games, a lot of the women kind of sound somewhat similar, but like Morgan has like almost this gruffness to it. So it's very unique. I've never heard another voice like it, and I like that they well, they added that. It's perfect because like it's it's a great embodiment of her character as far as the sort of like the I'm I'm saying seductive, not even necessarily in a sexual sense, but there's just some sort of like allure alluring aspect of her voice but you're mm -hmm. right it sort of has this gravel to it but mm -hmm. the cadence of it is smooth mm -hmm. very weird but it's 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 absolutely just her voice alone is really spot on mm -hmm. Ooh, for male though Arish, 
We all know it's the era shock. That's the best voice ever in any. In no, any. I see. I was gonna go. I, I was honestly I probably gonna go Solus because the accent's really nice. Uh, Solus is up there, I no doubt. You could yeah. just, I could just listen to Solus talk. Because he has a very know, like so calming woman, so voice. I don't know. But also like it's it's a, it's a it's a bit deep. It's calming, and then also the Welsh, the pleasant Welsh accent, <laughs> the pleasant part of the Welsh that's accent. Right. Maybe sometimes Welsh accents can go a bit crazy. I but I mean, I guess that's true. I, will not keep you but, uh, I like I'm how not Hawk just said straight up back off. <laughs> <laughs> no, we gotta flirt with everybody. Oh, sorry, I was I was earning him rivalry points. Oh, that's fair, I guess. Hopefully, we didn't. Uh, I don't think we ruined it. Well, with console commands can change anything. Who cares? <laughs> to, to talk about Solus also for a bit, it's kind of like that thing that we mentioned a little bit with Owen on the last mm -hmm. podcast of like. I kind of lament that we lost what Solus was as a character before, you know, before actual Solus, before the whole Dreadwolf. Uh, do you know what I mean? Like, if Solus was just a mage, if he, if all this other stuff wasn't there, I'm sure some people would think he's a lot more boring. And don't get me wrong, it's obviously the better character overall. Mm -hmm. But when Solus was just like this cool, calming dude that talked to you about the Fade standing on his little snow patch, like, I loved that character first playthrough and then and then once you figure out that he betrays you it's like oh you motherfucker and it's way better as a character but Solus just as like that guy without all the extra craziness is I don't know like I feel like he could have made a really loyal friend as well mm -hmm. which he kind of was in his own way but um I like I guess yeah but I I, I guess I just like the whole betrayal aspect so much that I, I it doesn't I don't even miss it to be honest it's but but see like I don't feel that way about Blackwall mm. I think Blackwall maybe is a bit too boring without without the Rainier pass I don't know I feel like if they I, I I don't think Blackwall has enough character moments to really carry just the plain boring guy like I feel right. like Solas had a lot of like character moments that just Blackwall didn't yep so I think had they done that with Blackwall, I think he would have carried really well. Like just like, you know, the chill lumberjack kind of guy that does woodworking in the stables and likes to stay out there because he smells a bit weird, you know? Like it's it's all right. So. Uh all right. Should we uh go talk to Thrask and the Gallows? Is that Yeah, let's do that. We also talk to Anders if you want. Oh, that's right. We haven't talked. Why? Oh my! Why what? I went into dark time. Uh. Well, Solus was relied on by the Inquisition for arcane knowledge support in some cutscenes, but Blackwall isn't in any. Yeah, I think if Blackwall was, I guess, had that Solus-like moments where, like, you went to him to go talk about something, that would have been really cool. I guess I would have really liked more scenes where the characters interact with each other. You know what I mean? I be besides the banter, yeah, I agree. Yeah, besides the banter. The banter is such a great loophole for that. Do you know what I mean? Like it's so hard mm -hmm. to find pacing. Uh, it's so hard to find time in a like say in a script or a novel for pacing to get the trouble. ancillary characters Drag to communicate with each other separately. Didn't think I'd be doing mm -hmm. that but video again. games have this great like you can use them as ambient noise. It's really Sorry, great. Like I, I really dig that as, as a writer. Like it's such a hard thing to find time for when you're writing something but in a video game like you have essentially downtime where there's not any story stuff going on anyway. Mm -hmm. And so like alright let's just get character development in here. It's like such a great a great use of, of like time for storytelling in video game yeah um keep your personal what was that what i was gonna say is, oh also our for blackwall what i love about his whole rainier pass is that i feel like it really leads into why he is the way that he is like he chose a more reserved demeanor because of his past in a way mm -hmm. not just because he wants to hide but because he's sort of penitent Mm -hmm. And I feel like so in, in replays, I just feel like any conversation with Blackwall has that sort of undercurrent. Whereas that's kind of true with Solus, but Solus was going to be how he is no matter what. Like, Solus is Solus as far as his demeanor. Yeah. All right, where are we going now? 
Uh, now we can go to the gallows. And... Woo! And I think that probably might get up. Yeah, we don't, we don't have too much more time. I mean, we're kind of closing down on uh, the getting to the end of Act Sort of. Yeah, we'll probably... Like, how much more quests do we have to do? We did... Here, let me pull up a list, because I can't remember what the Dia 2 Act 1 quests are. Heard about the circle of Magi. We did the one the with uh, never been the token. Are you certain it's wise um, for us to come here? We considering who we're with. Did the one with the black powder? Yeah. Do we see like the? Oh no, Crazy Elf is. Uh, this seems Act more two. like a prison. Sorry. I wonder if it's more um, effective than the circle I know. Let's see. We did that one. We did the Abilene one. We did that. How is the Imperial Circle of Mercy? Oh, I don't think we did active. Oh, I think we're about Once to get active. Once upon a time, mercy. it was okay. as it is here. The Chantry watched the magic. I don't think we saw. Okay, so we didn't do the Kieran weakness. one yet. Then it changed. The magic were permitted done the to watch. Okay, so we got two like big Templars Act One quests, and then yeah, the we're what happened we're ready next to go. was inevitable. The magisters rule again. As powerful so as I think totally by the next episode we can uh, probably get into Act Two. What the circle does here is better than the alternative. An alternative I am very familiar with. Herding mages together and putting them under. Are Fenris's ears different? It can't be yes, like they're like. Um, apparently, the idea, person who modeled the I head made no those here. ears. So, <laughs> they're not the original elf ears, they're just something the, the sure model for a reason. maker made. It makes sense. Thank you for bringing Fainreal to the circle. He is resentful still, but it is the only They do look very Canari. I wonder if uh, they actually ripped off the Canari. Uh... Wow, Thrask looks... Right. Different. <laughs> yeah, he looks very different. The circle exists um, for a reason. What Magic are they talking about? I guess it didn't matter. Not rule him. Wow, what a Thank shiny you man. Oh, well, there you go. I found this. It was addressed to you. It seems to be from your daughter. My daughter? Yes. Mustard man. You know what she is. How she died. When I traced her to that warehouse. I should have forced her into the circle. Oh, uh, they had those My Anthem comic books come out. Have you heard anything about those? Her. It is why I urged Ariane not to give her <laughs> I mean, <laughs> wish to hide. I don't want to jump right to bash you, Anthem. I just, so I can't get over the Neil Blomkamp thing. It's like, so what did they do? Just rip out 18 pages? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it's just, It's just like three panels. Like, panel one is like the person getting into their suit. Panel two is them like flying towards the enemies. And then panel three is just like... Here, scan this QR code to get the rest of the comic digitally. I don't know. <laughs> well, I, something I, I emailed you that, because I was reading that article again, they talked about how uh, one of the crazy things what they were talking about was, for those who haven't read it, uh, sometimes they would, like, no shoot scenes in motion capture, and then, she like, when, it, like, I during motion capturing, they would get a call saying, hey, we completely changed the scene, but we they had already recorded it. And they couldn't re-record it, so that scene just didn't happen and stuff like that. So, like, because the story was in so much, like, chaos or whatever. So I kind of wonder if that's what happened to Neil Blomkamp thing. That, like, the story that he wrote suddenly didn't fit into the new Anthem thing. So they didn't want his cool movie to come out and then it literally not be related to the game. It's just slightly inspired by. So I think it, it would maybe, like, a save face thing. Like because I, I remember when people were trying to piece together information, it, it really did sound like uh, that girl with the powers was going to be like the daughter of the um, the Dominion guy with the monitor, and that ended up not being anything. Yeah, yeah, so. I, I I agree. People um, are saying you should blackmail Thrask. Yeah, I, I think I just realized I, I wasn't paying attention to what I was looking on. It's not like we. Yeah, I don't know why she was suddenly nice. <laughs> Um, Jordan reloading Gopi and Axel. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, okay, you, yeah, I I don't know, man. People are saying that's not right. You gotta. Ah, uh, no, it's fine. We got. <laughs> you sure? 
Just should I do that or should we knock out something else? I'm... No, let's like we no. Let's, well, hang on. Let's do this. We, we we can't knock out another main quest in fifteen minutes. So let's let's just reload because it should have saved right as you entered That's in the true. area. That's true. It's not like we're gonna be that far behind. <laughs> gotta do it for the uh, deep RP. <laughs> the of the we gotta keep her character never been in one. Are you certain it's one? See, I just like spam through this Fenner stuff. This we don't care. He's just like being a, a blood. Uh. It's not so bad here. Thank you for bringing Fainreal to the circle. Magic must serve. Uh. It is why I urged Ariane. She was. <laughs> she is possessed by a spirit of compassion for a split second. And you'd better pay Maybe. up if you don't want that news getting to the night commander. Cruel and petty. <laughs> <laughs> Seems only fair. You monster. Fine. Money is what you wish to avoid dragging my Olivia's name through the mud. You shall have it. Now be gone. <laughs> All right. Well, we got some more rivalry points, and so maybe that was worth it. Yeah. Um. Do we talk to you here in the? Uh, I just liked it though. Jeez. Yeah. Talk to talk to you. Do you know a recruit named Karen? His sister is looking for him. We cannot speak to you, Messiah. <laughs> to the void with that. Karen and the others are missing. But our orders... The knights aren't doing anything to find them. Maybe it's time to ask for outside help. Out with it. I hear that Knight Commander Meredith has some new initiation you have to go through. If you're not strong enough or fervent enough in belief, you don't make it out alive. Seems to me a weak Templar. In that die article, it was said that they almost didn't use Gator's idea for Anthem when he worked on the project because Recruits it was too Dragon Agey. To they be fair, if there. what we have is his what? version, it is pretty Dragon Agey. <laughs> I saw him this morning. Not that I don't like it. It just it. Uh, we talked about this on that episode. It it did feel very Dragon Agey to me. What else do you know about the initiation? So you I heard about know. some. Or maybe there was an edit where it was even more Dragon Agey. Do I don't know. Days. The night commander yeah, the feeling that I got from it wasn't that they continue. almost didn't use his idea. The what feeling I got from it is that they didn't use his idea. Stay alive. Yeah. She's killing recruits that might question her orders, isn't she? That's rubbish. She wouldn't do that. If Wilmot came back, he might know more. <laughs> the about the Templars other are the B movie. <laughs> I bet he would. <laughs> he told me he was going outside. Temple. Oh, oh God! You know God. what? That uh, they're not wrong. Didn't you tell us this. I mean, Knight yeah. Captain Cullen ordered it. Right before he chased Maybe the uh, Meredith just has no, this thing about bees, ago. so she's changed all the hurried, Templar outfit to like be her little life. busy bees or whatever. Sure, yeah. They're the medieval Honey Nut Cheerios mascot. <laughs> <laughs> Meredith is a wasp. Oh, God. I mean, she's very pointy, I guess, but... Uh, it doesn't take that long to go up to the camp, right? To Wilmot's camp? Um, I don't know. It's kind of stretching it. I, like... We could stop here we'll... also. Yeah, it, it's your call. What do you want to do? Are you safe, See if we can maybe... All right. One quick conversation. That's out. <laughs> DA2, but all the Templars are voiced by Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> oh god tell me why i want to play that so <laughs> because it'd be terrible oh that reminds me uh so on, on the discord i have uh someone was digging through the inquisition files and, and found that i guess they kept in a lot of the, the um template Mercy dialogue Mercy. recordings Mercy. for uh dragon age inquisition oh we got a little bit of here sorry go ahead <laughs> Oh, hi, hello, handsome no <laughs> Colin. What the and fuck? I, I forgot about now. this mod. God, he looks so crazy. Okay, anyway, um, he, uh, our, uh, the, the mod, like, not the mod, but the, the audio bad. recording is done by computer. Nice see your branching um, so it's a bunch of computer guys' voices stranger. saying the in game dialogue, and it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I have bad. I'll, I'll have to send some to you, because they're, uh, they. The, the acting is so awkward sometimes. It's really great. And then, like, um, one of them, it, they wanted to have italicized words, but it just pronounces the slash. So it's like... 
<laughs> slash me, slash. <laughs> Oh, God. Anyway, uh, apparently that's like just the thing they do when they're trying to like get the timing for um, like cutscenes and stuff. We'll have scratch audio before they actually get the voice actors there to record. So I'm saying, why don't we have a mod of all games where they just keep that scratch audio? Wouldn't that be the best? That would be awesome. I agree with that. Yeah. I want to play all of Dragon Age, but with computerized voices. Colin looks like he just ghosted me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like no, it. I'll you back. <laughs> oh my God. Elder Scrolls Online has had that in their update. Really? They're Oh man, if I have to play Elder Scrolls Online, it's been nuts and setting you can face. <laughs> Colin wears polo shirts and boat shoes in his free time. Oh wow, that's a <laughs> low blow. That's just going right for the goddamn jugular. Oh god. Were you, okay, were you ever in a fraternity? Bunch of dudes got shook. No, 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 no. Okay, so I, I wasn't in the, the Greek scene either, but when I was visiting some college friends, uh, a friend that I used to know, I went over to uh, her place, and she was really into the sorority fraternity scene. And uh, we went over to her upperclassman boyfriend's uh, uh, fraternity. Holy shit, Jordan, Do that place was, was a nightmare. Busy? So, like, I guess... <laughs> what year is this? Oh, this was 2010... 2011. 2011. Okay, so... All right, that's not... That's not... Probably not great. Okay, go on. <laughs> well, <laughs> we weren't there at a party. It was, like, at, in, during the daytime, and we were just walking in to go, go his room. I guess whatever, like, fraternity this was, their, like, shtick was that uh, they wanted to be, like... I, thank you I don't want to say assistance. manly men, but like just kind of not crafty, I guess. So they decided to like all make their Wilmot furniture. The so the entire shitty building that was quietly, easily torn apart by parties and like there was weird stains on the floor. So it was extremely dirty. Um, they all had like plywood furniture and that was just what they had. <sighs> and they're paying how much money? Like it was one of the expensive ones apparently at this college, and it was just like yeah. they just went and bought supplies and built shitty furniture and was like, "Yeah, we're so fucking good." Cool. <laughs> so I Go will. Get some brewskis. <laughs> I, I will say, like, on to, in, not I'm not going to say in defense of that, but principally, hey, building furniture—that's a good idea. But a crappy plywood furniture in your house, not necessarily a great idea. <laughs> I, I don't mind the idea of sitting there and being a good craftsman and building some cool furniture. That would actually be really cool. But they all bought plywood and used, like, hot right. glue guns. And, like, it didn't make any sense. And it was just, like, they had the idea of what they wanted. But the execution was, like, zero. It was, <laughs> it was so bad. I just want to shout out Jupiter in the chat saying Colin has a meet me at McDonald's haircut. <laughs> And that says full Pidgeotto. <laughs> oh my god. And it really is. It really does look like fucking Pidgeotto. Oh I'm god. not gonna Did lie. You are That's a recruit, good so at risk. Hold on, wait. Let me get a good them. screenshot of this. Hang on. I fear we're already oh, too That's gonna be the thumbnail, and it's just gonna say Pidgeotto, oh, I choose you. A good boy. <laughs> they were last seen together at the oh, Blooming Oh god, too bad you can't romance him in this no game. I had no luck interrogating the... Uh, oh god, the cheekbones are too high. Yeah. He's too pretty. The pretty was turned up too high. <laughs> oh god. Don't be fooled by a pretty face. They fear we would shut them down if they admit to serving our Someone recruits. said uh, the what was oh, I think I lost the comment. Our recruits may But be the the friend danger. who was dating that guy had bad taste. Themselves. Yes. Uh, if you learn what oh, god, that that whole trip world, really annoyed the shit out of me, but I don't want to like get galaxy. into like too much drama. I, I guess the point is rewarded. is that she was very disapproving of my boyfriend at the time and said I should break up with him uh for some like really stupid reason that made no sense. Uh and we're married now. <laughs> and I was about to say, you mean Michael? Boyfriend. Yeah, it was my yeah, I've only had one boyfriend, so it, it was Michael. So it was like this <laughs> God like Oh, I, there's there's so much history to that that makes that so infuriating. I'm talk not about go talk into about it, making but... the wrong call. Seriously. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm like, are you serious? And it was. Oh, I, I I don't want to get into it, but it still makes me so angry. <laughs> I'm so peeled by that. Oh. 
And yeah, they broke up. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, I guess I'm gonna head back to Gamlin's house and save, and then uh, we're right at about two hours. So. What am I, your servant? Did she want to steal him? Uh, no. So I guess for a little bit of context, he was up in Illinois, and then she was out down in Oklahoma. So like there was, she did not know him. She just heard about him. I don't think she met him at the time. <laughs> I don't think she knew what he looked like. But uh, yeah, every time Katie speaks about a girl from her past, I wonder if it's a sailor <laughs> man. Oh, the one that sold your uh, the one that stole your Sailor Moon DVDs and got hooked on math or what I, was I, it? <laughs> yeah, I I'm gonna just say for the continuity sake, yes, every girl I ever talk about in a negative light is going to be that girl, even if it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, God! All right, well, um, I think that does it for Dragon Age Two ridiculousness today. Um, we will mm -hmm. let people know on Twitter. We we got to talk about times and uh, maybe yeah. streaming tomorrow, maybe not, but we'll let you know on Twitter. Um, otherwise, Katie, before we go, is there anything else? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> it's been enough for today. Thanks, everyone, as always, uh, for being here. Everybody have a great, fantastic week. And actually, I'm going to quit the game first because I know the fucking hotkey is not going to work. Um, <laughs> everyone have a great, fantastic week, and uh, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>